episode 43 of Soho Insight, where each week we talk about the latest products, services, and trends that help your small office, home office lifestyle be more productive, efficient, and fun. Hello, I'm Kathy. And I'm Jen, and this week's episode is on web conferencing. Uh, for those of you that are watching over on iTunes or on YouTube or at Overlay.tv, we're also testing out live stream for the first yeah, time this okay, evening. Yeah, okay, just give me a click So maybe here we need to have a glass or a drink of wine This is a new first. one again for us. Um, so yeah, it'll be really interesting, and if at any point during this we mess up, I apologize. But uh, Actually, so, they, we don't edit much well, we never. Our, yeah, yeah, we don't edit them, but still. Okay. It's a little bit more nerve-wracking. This is scary, yes. So anyway... We're talking about web conferencing tonight and how you can bring, actually, specifically five ways you can bring it into your small office, home office business um, as to bring in more money, <laughs> to bring in additional streams of revenue. And so we're going to be talking about things like sales and things like that. Um, but to begin with, the reason why we're going over this is that we just finished up our Back to Business Summit. Wait a minute. Hello to the people that are watching yes, this live. Yes, hello. How fun. This I know. is so this cool. This is pretty exciting. Uh, okay. Oh, Jennifer Jordan, by the way, who is um, who said that she's missing oh, I love you. Real Housewives yes. of New Jersey. It makes cool. me feel like we should toss the table or something. <laughs> I hate you. Yes. Throw okay. wine. Um, but you can check her out at fortheglow.com. Uh, We're big fans. Well, you're Actually, I had your soup. I made, um, it was very I good. made mom the superfood tomato soup. I gave her the leftovers today, and it was. It was, it really was good. very good. So, yeah, I had check her website out. Two helping. Um, but anyway, okay. uh, the Back to Business Building Summit happened last week, and it was something that we kind of planned. Oh, I put together. Yeah, well, it was something actually Jen did. we planned kind of last minute, and that we were just like, you know what? Uh, a lot of moms, a lot of parents are getting back into the... Um, school grind where they're focusing more on their business and they took the summer off or maybe, and I don't mean took the summer off from their business, but they took it off from working on the business, building the business, or they focused on vacations. Um, so we heard that from a few of our clients and we just said, hey, let's put this together. It'll be fun. This is a good time. Yes. Yeah. And uh, so it was four days of uh, online web conferences that were totally free to anyone and everyone. The speakers were amazing. Yeah, we had 14 that, speakers in total. That and was so much fun. They ranged from all across the United States. We even had one in Canada, Rigda. Hi, Rigda. You were awesome. You <laughs> did a fantastic presentation. Um, but if you look at the B2BBSummit.com uh, website, you can see that we had, um, we used Web Presence Builder. Uh, we tried to make this uh, an experience so that uh, if you are a client of Ovalai, you get access to our web conferencing rooms. It's kind of like co-working space we've made it out to be. So we have conference rooms that you can rent out basically for the hour um, if you host with us uh, for free. And so we tried to use all tools free. that were free and that Actually, our clients could turn around and use. I should say this whole summit that Jen put on for four days, 14 speakers, all free. Yeah, and you can. You keep emphasizing that because she's the chief decision maker. Which, by the way, she's my mother. She's my business partner. Uh, she sees the bill at the end of the day of how much this <laughs> costs. <laughs> us, so she says it's free. It's free. Uh, so anyway, uh, the the schedule uh, we use Web Presence Builder, which is something that we offer our hosting clients for free. It's a Parallels Plus product, and if you host with someone, you really need to demand that you have this because. Um, Demand it or just ask Or just Ovalai. go to Ovalai. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> because it's pretty fantastic. We just added a, a, another domain onto a shared hosting account. Really fast, um, too. She did it in a couple it minutes. I did it in yeah, a couple, couple minutes. minutes. Uh, no, but it was literally a night time that I put this together, and I used a lot of free, I pretty much exclusively, exclusively used free stuff. Um, the logo I got from iStock. Uh, I put it together with Picnic. I mean, it I just the list picnic. goes on and on of how I tried to do this, and I'm going to be uh, creating an entire tutorial for our clients um, so on how to turn easy. around and put an online conference together in two weeks, which is what we did, uh, from getting the speakers and promoting it to actually holding it. Actually, also, um, do we have somewhere on a link that um, people, especially our clients, uh, can get to the web conferencing easily? Can you put some kind of information okay. or a video up on that? Um, on our web conferencing? Mm -hmm. Like the service we offer? Yes, there's a couple clients that Well, have that's asked. what we're doing tonight. Okay. Uh, right. So, Ovaline.tv is where you can find out past, or you can watch past videos of ours. Of course, Ovaline.com is where we sell hosting and all that fun stuff. 
Um, but anyway, so this website was super fun and super easy to do. The entire conference was a great experience. So um, to kind of move on, we wanted to talk about um, five ways that you can bring web conferencing into your small office, home office business. And it's not necessarily, because I did a webinar on this um, in the conference. I did a webinar with seven case studies of how people could bring in webinars to uh, add an additional stream of revenue into their business. And tonight we're really talking about it in five different ways. We're talking about using web conferencing internally through uh, sales, support, uh, value added service, and finally a new service or program. So that's more of the revenue stream. So okay, let's are you get ready started. To get into it? Yes. Uh -huh. I will say though that um, you learned a lot last week on where you can reach people. I mean, we had those people from Canada. So they Canada. The, <laughs> well, I mean, we're in Seattle. Anyways, um, that part of connecting with other people and their followers, that's a big deal to me. I oh my thought. gosh, are you kidding me? The the online conference was insane for our business. It was yes. amazing, and I'm really excited to share all the stuff with our That's clients. That's why we're doing but this But really tonight. fast before I go on, I wanted to do a shout out to the speakers. I just remembered I should probably thank that them one more nice. time. Um, so if you can look at my desktop one more time. Uh, so of course you've got Ovalay up at the top, but this is Rigda, and she's Action Mobile Biz. You've got Stacy Dennett, who did a fantastic job on presenting about budgets. Melody Berenger Melody. of the Crave Company. Oh gosh, we love her. Uh, Stephanie, uh, Beth, Tracy, Tracy's cr incredible. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Heather uh, was fantastic. Anne Marie, oh my gosh, she yes. did such an insane presentation. 72 pages. 72 slides of mobile marketing. It <laughs> opened our eyes. We were just like, we have got to get on top of mobile marketing. She was fantastic. And again, you can go to b2bbsummit.com and find out all these speakers. Oh, wait Devin, a minute. Rose, and Jamie all did a great yeah. job. A shout out to Jamie for helping us on Friday, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Jamie's incredible. She's a WordPress developer. She helped me a lot that morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so anyway, let's move on to the five steps. So the first okay. one we're going to start with, um, five ways that we can bring web conferencing into our small office, home office business. The first one is internally. And this is something we've been doing since last... A year ago. Kelly was like a month, I think, old. And we were doing web conferencing because I couldn't leave the house as easily. And people were impressed, by the way, of your... Um, Working, you know, a month later, and uh, but see, it was all in our your house, so yeah, we could it was do that. Really, it was. Yeah. You didn't have to go out. It was very easy, mm -hmm. actually. Okay. Uh, so anyway, we internally some examples of what you can do internally with web conferencing to make your to streamline your business, to streamline your virtual team, um, etc. You can meet with your team uh, by presenting numbers, goals, discussing projects. Uh, using our presentation tools. So the web conferencing, if you stay tuned to the last part of the video, we're going to actually show you what it looks like and how you, like what it feels like and all that fun stuff. So stick around for the next few minutes to, well, to figure out really what, to envision how you can use it in your business. And internally, I mean, we have home office uh, lifestyle, so you'll want to use this. I mean, that's what we use. So if you're traveling or whatever, you can hook up with anybody within your business. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, really fast, I should note uh, for the live stream folks, we're not chatting with you right now because we're just still trying to figure out all this stuff. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, um, internally, those are some examples as far as meetings go, and that's worked really well for us. Um, mm -hmm. Presenting our numbers in a way that makes sense to all of our team is important to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, training new team members is another big one. You share your desktop. Um, or your um, interns. You could do that, too. Yeah, a interns, whatever it is, whoever is on your team. Uh, Carissa Dunphy is. Hello, Carissa. Uh, yeah, hi, Carissa. She's our account manager over at Caffeine Keyboard. Um, she also runs her own business and has a business with her husband. So Did she gets a small business lifestyle. But we trained her uh, using web conference. Did you mention her name in the speakers? Um, no, because I included her in the lump of oval eye. I'm sorry, okay. Carissa. Carissa. She's fantastic. Yes. She did a good uh, Facebook one. So. Uh, okay, number two. No, I'm still. Oh. You can also pass files easily and share a 30 second or so podcast clip. Uh, this is a big one. So, sharing, you can share audio in a web conference. So, if you're in a meeting and you, we have team member books that we have to read <laughs> or required to read. Uh, so, if you like a certain piece of the audio, you can bring the MP3 into the meeting and actually play it so you make sure that everyone For inspiration. To it. 
Okay. All right, so number two, we just said internally you can use it, and we gave you some examples. So the second way that you can bring web conferencing <laughs> into your business is through sales. This is a big one. We still haven't really used this very effectively. No, we need to. You can use testimonials. Um, yeah, so how do you use testimonials? You would do a sales pitch and you would have testimonials. Hey, look at this. There's our testimonial of our business. But it, you what's a testimonial a, of? Of our client. On a video. video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. So you can share video, um, a flash video on uh, web conferencing. So if you just did your whole sales pitch, you can pause yeah, and did say. Did you say that? What? Because um, in one spot. Oh, you don't say it till the end. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can share the video and say, do your sales pitch and at the very end say, oh, you know what? Actually, listen to my client who did a great job with me. She gained a lot, but listen to her, what she has to say. Yes. So that's really effective. Um, and then you can also do a slideshow of your portfolio. If you're a graphic designer, you could actually be sitting with someone. I think that part is and amazing. And then, yeah, push through all of your you different designs. Because you could be designs. anywhere in the world and you could do that. Yeah, and then of course you can use webcams like we're doing right now. Um, uh, and that way you can be face to face with someone. If you have a client now in New York or someone else, uh, you can pull that in. Yes. Uh, so sales is a great way to do it. So that's number two. The third way. Oh, you even had a picture of the webcam. Yeah. Very good. Uh, okay. The third one is through <laughs> support. Right. So, for example, um, your client is experiencing an issue, a problem. Um, if you're a web host. Well, actually, that comes in handy for us because uh, email support, and you have to see their desktop sometimes. and. What better way to do that? Well, yeah, it, it cuts the support time down in half. Mm -hmm. And if you're another web host, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. don't steal our ideas. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it does. You, If someone's on the phone with me, I just say, uh, can you head on over to webcon whatever dot dot com and hit in this number and just show me what it is that your issue is having. And then we can speed things up from there. So, yeah, the, the support works really well if you're a graphic designer or a developer. That's a good way to go. Yeah, the designer would just be amazing. So that's yeah. Good. So the third way was support, right? So we did internally, sales, support. The fourth way is? Value-added service. For example, you provide a weekly support group. Actually, you do that every Friday. Yeah, every Friday. And this is something that we offer not only our hosting clients, but we have, we have two kind of tiers of people we serve at Ovali. We have our members, which is totally free. It's free to be a, just a simple member at Ovali where you get to attend WordPress, web, uh, WordPress, WordPress support group. <laughs> um, and we add uh, certain webinars here and there. But every Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, we do that over in our web conferencing room. And then uh, now you you're starting a new one. <laughs> At 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, every Friday, uh, you're giving an Ovalai update. Mm -hmm. um, and it's I talking was so about good at it on, on the summit. It was her Jen first one. It was the it. kickoff one. It was good, actually, <laughs> because it's it's. I think it's bringing an internal meeting public. It's sharing with you what she shares with us. It's motivating. It's exciting. And um, just a way to spread the love. So anyway, uh, value-added service. Uh, adding on a weekly support group is always nice. So if you sell a membership... Um, to something and say, you know what, every Friday I'm going to be available to all of you guys at 9 a.m. and you can ask me questions, you can talk amongst yourselves, or you can just, you know, white everyone out and do a lecture or something like that. It's a new way of doing business. It's exciting. <laughs> yes, it, it is. I mean, right? This is exciting. <laughs> uh, I, I, like, so many new possibilities come into your business, even if you're a coffee shop in your local town. Actually, or the live stream when we're, we're going out, hello guys again. Um, it would be fun to hear what they have to say. So next time, next, next time, time, we're going to do comments. Sorry. Thank you for hitting the chair. Uh, so anyway, uh, adding that value-added service as a support group is nice. You can also add in um, maybe an hour of one-on-one -on -one training. That can be something that you can kind of add as a bonus or something mm -hmm. like that if you're selling a product or service. Yes. And by the way, it's fall here in the Pacific Northwest, and it suddenly got seriously hot in our recording studio. <laughs> so we're all sweating here. There's we're like glowing. we have we have um we have a recording studio lighting set up, so it's pretty hot. <laughs> there's an actual there's an air conditioner. In here. It's not doing. It's too pretty well. pathetic, and I okay. chose the wrong outfit to wear. You look very nice, though. Okay. Anyway, the fifth <laughs> point. So we went over one, two, three, four. We're on five. A new service or program. 
This one's long, so go ahead. Well, okay, I was trying to paint a picture because I was really excited about this one because so many people can add in new potential for making money. If something is not going as well as you'd like it to, if it's a one-on-one -on -one service and people can't pay that high premium price of your hour per hour uh, rate, you can open it up into a group experience or even open it up to the United States or internationally if you need to. Um, Actually, the personal trainer, we have a lot of clients that are personal trainers. I've mentioned this to many of them. So the first one that does it gets a good discount, by the way. Yeah, so we're talking to personal trainers in this one as an example, but this could also work for life coaches, etc. Yeah, we have a lot of life and so, coaches. And uh, so the story is Ooh, that if... Wait a minute. There's one, though, that um, I really want to get going. The wine, um, the wine place in Duval, uh, she does a tasting. Duval's our small town. Yes. Uh, she does a wine tasting 101 and in her classroom and I want to set her up so she can do that on on uh, oh, that would be cool. wouldn't that be fun yeah. okay. uh, so anyway so we're gonna say that you're a personal trainer and uh, you've set this group out there and maybe 10 people or 25 if you want to make it exclusive so you can up the price a little bit um, you've got we'll say for this example 10 people that you want to be in this group um, and you say every Monday morning at 8 a.m. we're going to meet on web conferencing and I'm we're going work. to do, yeah, you're going to do your boot camp or whatever it is online via web conferencing. So that uh, mom that just had a baby maybe six months ago and is just like, I need to get stuff together now. Mondays seem to be the day, you know, because you're after the weekend, you want to really work out. So Monday would be a good day for those personal yeah, trainers. It would be a good Monday day. Monday morning. Oh, we're going past time here. Uh, so... When do we not go past time? That's true. That's true. <laughs> so uh, the the personal trainer says 8 a.m. So that mom that just had a baby and wants to get her body back, uh, I think that might be trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, you'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but anyway, if she wants to get going again, she has to get down at 8 a.m. and just you know mosey down into her living room, maybe with her pajamas still on or whatever it is, and attend this webinar where um, at first the personal trainer will open it up maybe with um, a nice little discussion where she'll open up the call to everyone to talk into and then she'll do a slide presentation and mute everyone out so they go over nutrition first maybe and say and teach something I about go to uh, carbohydrates yeah. or good carbs versus bad carbs whatever it is after she does that presentation maybe after that she'll do some kind of um, uh, well, breathing thing or something. Yeah, some kind of uh, breathing meditation. exercise using the MP3 that she can pull in and Ooh. do a meditation. Yes. Um, after that, she can open it up and maybe share a file of saying this is your 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 meal plan for the rest of the week. Ooh. Um, and then maybe show a video of her doing an exercise she filmed like six months ago and can actually pull in and reuse and show her class. Um, some kind of method she created or maybe the program that she's enlisted in. Okay, like um, she I can said, the first personal trainer that comes to Ovalai and does that. But, okay, again, this is um, this could work for a life coach, too. Well, so you could quick translate this really easily. Any of those. Uh, so after, um, after you share the video, then you actually go into webcams, and maybe you share each other uh, doing the moves or something like that. Doing the while moves. the fitness instructor puts music on and you guys have to do it together. I don't know. Um, you can do chat all this, you know, all the while, and say, "Hey, you guys, uh, this is dumb. I need a break." <laughs> <laughs> or uh, my I'm my done. quads hurt really bad. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need chocolate. Yeah, and then finish it up with another file share. So, adding in an additional stream of revenue, whether you're a music teacher that oh, wants to share uh, music gym. files. Yeah. yeah. So we've got. I mean, the sky is the limit for how you can use this. It's exclusive, so only people that pay for it can see it. Art can classes, it. all sorts of things can go online. So. It's exciting, and hopefully yeah. you guys got some kind of... Um, Ideas? I don't know. You know, something <laughs> exciting hot. that you're thinking about. I am. Right? It's hard to think. Okay. Uh, so anyway, those were five ideas of how you can bring web conferencing into your small office, home office business. And we want to just finish up quickly with uh, some equipment that you'll hot. need. You'll, Sorry, some I equipment you'll need. Why don't you go over the equipment we'll need? Uh, you need the internet. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, to clarify that, you need a good speed internet. Like, if you live here in the sticks... Um, hey, we did pretty good. No, well, I've when I first moved here, I used one internet provider that had um, 
a one megabyte per second, something like that. It was really awful. And uh, life was hard then, but I've since changed. So anyway, you need some good mm -hmm. internet. You need... I like that. Life uh, is hard. Yeah. Okay. You need a computer. If you, you have a laptop for it, it's generally better, especially if you're doing like something where you play a guitar and have someone learn the guitar. That way you can change your environment. Um, your the third phone. one. The third one. The phone. You and need then, to talk. Um, also along with a phone. A, a camera. A camera. A web yeah. camera. This is an example of what one of one of our cameras that we have in our studio. And uh, we'll have the link over at overlane.tv for it. And it seems to work pretty good. And then you need a flash movie editor. We use, um, how do you say this? Tufi. Tufi.com. And um, again, we'll have a link over at overlay.tv for you to pop over. And this is something that would build those flash movies for you to bring into uh, your web conferencing experience. And uh, Tufi is a membership-based website, so it's not something very expensive that you have to download onto your computer. Uh, we use mics. Oops, I better not touch it. We use mics for ours. Um, and if you're doing stuff, you probably want a mic instead of holding the phone. Well, uh, the, the, it is a teleconference, though, so you're going to want to... Hold your phone. Maybe you can add the headphones. Um, oh, but that's see, nice. this is yes. what I use for my teleconference. And I use I have a tune band for even when I go running, and they're available on Amazon. And I again, I'll have the link over at overlay.tv yes. for you. And I actually use that when I talk on the phone because we have um, not only is it you know for your cell phone, but we use VoIP, overlay VoIP, and so that's how I call in through Bria app, and that's B R B R I A app, um, and that's a great soft phone for your iPhone. Yes. So anyway, those were okay. five. Fine. And again, overlay.tv for all those links. So right now I wanted to just finish up with actually showing you what the web conferencing room looks like when you're with Ovalai. Um So here I've gone to webcon2.ovalai.com, which actually stands for web conferencing room 2. And this is the webcon room that we uh, used for the Back to Business Building Summit. And so picture if you, co-working is kind of a, a popular thing right now. And so Ovali has rooms, conference rooms that we can then rent out to our, our larger membership of hosting provider or the hosting clients. And uh, so this is what it looks like when you log into the hosting room. And we're just going to take a little tour um, using the meeting room. Uh, but you can access uh, recordings. You can access... Um, reports, registrations, you can actually do registrations if you want to throw a free event or something like that and have people register via the web conferencing room versus having to set anything up on your website. Uh, people can comment if, if they're, you're doing a sales pitch, they can comment afterwards and say, that was awesome. I'm so <laughs> excited to use the product. Uh, and I'm sure that they would talk exactly like that. Uh, you can upload things into your library in advance, which is always very helpful. Oh, nuts. It kicked me out. Uh, so this is the library. I've got all of the PowerPoints in there, but you can add um, video, audio, pictures, etc. Yeah, so let's go ahead and pop open the meeting room so you can actually see what's going on. Um, I'll go to my meetings and start the tour. Hooray! <laughs> There's a lot of bandwidth being used tonight. <laughs> so we'll see how fast this loads. <laughs> Something to take of note when we do these live stream things. The bandwidth is that we might need to. That's a bit too much. Going, 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 going. Well, it was a good idea. <laughs> With I'll, the hit live. It, I'll refresh it and see if it works. Little tweaks we'll have to do when we do this live again. Yeah. That's good. Anyways, it is very <laughs> cool. <laughs> it is cool. Oh, another meeting is in progress? Oh, that was the one I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Well, that's a bummer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's oh, the wait, one? Oh, there we go. Oh. It, it's finally loading. Okay, it is? Yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, this is what it looks like, and it's still starting up. Um, you can call into the tel teleconference line, um, and there you can manage down over here on the lower right-hand side. You can actually manage um, muting phones, unmuting all the phones, hanging people up, up if they're being rude or something like that. You can identify phones, so if someone calls in, you can attach a name to the web conference that's in the web conference to the phone and you line. Can 
chat down below. And this is a moderator's position. Um, this worked really well for the B2BB Summit because uh, I had the speaker come in, I was a moderator, and you couldn't see any of the attendees, and I can put phone numbers to everyone and then uh, send messages over to the presenter. Either, yeah, the presenter yeah. to any of the people listening. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty nice. Yeah. So then we can share our desktop. I'm not going to do that right now just to keep bandwidth cool. And um, you can up, uh, add in a, um, a slide presentation. And let me add in, I'll show, uh, let me see if I can show you um, Anne Marie's. Uh, would that take a lot of... Oh, it might take a while. <laughs> Two pages. But here, let's look at it really fast to see if it comes up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so you can see that this is the moderator's view again of what this looks like of the slideshow presentation. And you have some mock-ups. You can say, oh, look at this. This is what we're talking about right now. Um, this is Anne-Marie's business here, etc. So we can share desktop or we can share presentations. We can share... Um, if we go up to here, we can actually share, share the video and see if it will load fast enough. Yeah, it's doing okay. Yeah. Cool. I turned the audio off, but you can see her walking across the stage. So that's cool. Um, so that would be the video of you maybe testing on something or playing the guitar in advance and reusing or repurposing the content. Um, so you can use a mic then for people if they don't want to call in via teleconference. If you're presenting, you can actually be mic'd in. But there's just, like, the sky is the limit for all this stuff. They also make it really easy to share, invite participants, etc. Um, you can share oh, on Facebook, Twitter, yeah. invite people. You did a lot of the code. Facebook stuff, yeah. too. And it just Twitter. makes life yeah. a little bit easier. Inviting so anyway, people in. That was a yes. quick little tour of our web conferencing space. I'm going to go ahead and stop this meeting. Uh, so, yeah, we, what did we talk about today? We talked about the Back to Business Summit that, that happened last wrong. week. Yes. I'm What's it called? It's a Back to Business Building. Oh, building. Summit. Yeah, B to BB. Yeah. So, okay, excuse me. I always got it wrong. I know. I do too, though, sometimes. Okay. So. so then we did the five ways you can bring web conferencing into your small office, home office lifestyle, which is the future, if you ask me. It's the way to go. It's the way to connect with as many people as possible Convenient. while sitting here. It's pretty nice. Okay, so number, we had number one was um, internally share the using, web conferencing. Using the web conferencing yes. internally. Uh, number two was sales. You can sell your, your business or your services through this. Um, number three was support, which Oval Eye uses. Mm -hmm. um, number four is value added services, which we gave a whole bunch of ideas and examples. Number five is a new service or program. Oh, wait. Number four was value added services. Um, what number were those? Number five was value added service, was like um, uh, adding in a weekly support group oh, yeah. or something yeah. like that. That's, yes, like the WordPress thing we do. Okay, a new service was the one that we gave you all the examples on number five. I think and then done. we went over equipment, oh, the equipment and the that you the would room. need. And I have to bring up once more, because I know I mentioned this like the last Soho Insights, uh, but Yo Gabba Gabba is Kelly's kind of thing right now. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, he's not very good at watching there's TV. There's a party in my tummy. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Yo Gabba Gabba, he's kind of gotten into because there's bright colors and uh, fun music. And yeah, why are you bringing this up? Buddy? Because at the very end of all their episodes, they do a recap, but they do it in a they do it in like a rap, and they have music over it, and they kind of I'm mix it in. I'm not doing the rap. <laughs> you can't. I think it's a good idea. Well, we could sing It's a Part of the <laughs> Tummy, because, boy, I have that in my head all the time. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that wraps it up. Well, you can find this uh, <gasps> these videos like this over at... Oh, what? Are we voting again? Did you have that? Um, well, first of all, you can find them over at <laughs> <laughs> iTunes. Um, we've got a little bit.ly link set up at bit.ly slash Soho Insights. And we've got 42 episodes up there. Tomorrow we'll have 43. Um, you can also find them at overlie.tv. We also have uh, shows like Web Host Wednesday and um, other fun little things here and there. Yeah, we should be um, doing more shows. And too. then also, thank you guys who are voting for yes. us. We really, really appreciate it. We thank are you. on, We're on fire. fire. And when I saw that, I thought, fire. <laughs> do, 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 do. What's that? What's that song? Uh, so the Commodores, who is that? 
I don't remember. It's probably anyway. copyrighted and we yeah. can't even mention it. Oh, right. Here. Well, this is Kathy and Jen. Until next week. And thank you again, live stream people that are watching us today. Hopefully this worked okay and we can yes. do it again. <laughs> yes, please give us feedback if you actually watched the whole thing or if you if there were any tweaks that need to be done. That would be nice. So, oh. yes. Thank you.